Hi there from uh, Cape Town. We've just had a storm. Wow. <clears throat> and where I'm staying, I've got the ocean next to me and it felt like I was in a washing machine cycle with uh, the wind, the rain, the waves. It was incredible. So, and I haven't seen a storm like this for many, many years. So it's been quite a, quite a thing to watch and uh, pretty much have a front seat row because <laughs> that's kind of the ocean right there. I want to talk today about the difference between efficiency and robustness. The world we live in is becoming more and more complex. The world we came from was complicated, but not complex. And there's a fundamental difference between them. You see, all businesses have three pillars to work on. They have to have forecasts, they have to have plans, and they have to execute on those plans. Unfortunately, the whole idea of forecasting has changed dramatically. And the reason for that is, is that so many different things are changing that we aren't able to preempt or predict anything anymore. In fact, some of the world's best futurists are saying that they can only predict or preempt 400 days into the future. And most of us are around the 100 day mark of trying to figure out what the future could look like. And so this major difference in the ability to preempt what's coming and the inability to preempt what's coming is the difference between complicated and complex. You see, with complicated scenarios, what they are is patterns that are regular. And so we can pick up and sort of utilizing mathematics and design and automation, we are able to bring about a streamlined, efficient way to go about bringing about business models into fruition or bringing about the production line efficiency and profitability. Complications can be calculated because they are regular in their patterning. Complexity has some patterns, but never repeated. Complexity has this idea that most things around us right now are so varied in the different ways that they come towards us that it's impossible to preempt them because they don't have regular patterns. So what we have now is an old world that's been driving efficiencies because it's easy to do in complicated worlds. But now that we're in this world of complexity, it's impossible to use the same rules. So if I give you an example, um, going to the airport, putting your suitcase into the luggage processing, it's an incredibly complicated thing. But there's patterns. You know exactly where things need to go. So it's hyper-efficient. It's mostly automated. And we hardly have any of our suitcases going missing. Well, I, I don't either. I mean, I don't. Maybe other people do, but I haven't had it done to me. So if we think about once we get onto the plane, we have four engines when you only really need one, where you can get away with one. You have multiple operating systems, you have pilots, you have ground um, uh, people watching and being connected with you, you have the black box. I mean, you have so many different things inside an airplane that make that flight robust, not efficient. Make that flight ready for complexity, not complications. Because the complexity says, we don't know what's going to be coming. We don't know if there's going to be a thunderstorm, there's going to be a storm, a bird, uh, another plane. All of these things require complexity and to plan for complexity. And so we have to realize that applying efficiency models to this new complex world is by far the worst thing we could do. And so the thing that we practiced the most before and the thing that Japan made so popular was JIT, just in time. So just in time, you would have the right product at that place or just in time, you'd have the service when you really just needed it. Today, we're moving from just in time to just in case, just in case this happens, we need to be ready for it. And we can see this, you know, some of the world's best bakers are not just bakers. They have YouTube pages, they have recipe books, they have online courses, they are teaching and lecturing at different universities or cooking schools, and they have a bakery. That's robust in expression. That's ready for a complex world. And what I've been doing a lot of is reinventing how I bring my talks and books to the world in masterclass workshops with online courses that I'm about to be launching with brand new ways for me to come about trying to understand what is the best way I can come to the world in the most robust way. So the point of the video today is, look, there's nothing wrong with driving efficiency. 
but the truth is it's not going to get you to where you want to go. And what you have to start doing is building robust, complex, ready business models so that we are ready for any eventuality. So if one falls away, the other one can pick up. So when you are planning your business, planning your brand, planning your next step, remember, are you planning for the luggage process of efficiency and complications or are you planning for the flight in a world of complexity? Hope that makes sense. This is going to be my next book, Future Next, and I'll be doing this in my master classes to break this down to try and really try and grip and understand the difference in these two paradigm ways of setting up businesses. Ciao from Cape Town.